In this section, we're going to discuss Salesforce Maps and ArcGIS Online. As we discuss ArcGIS Online and Salesforce Map, we're primarily going to focus on number one, preparing ArcGIS Online data for Salesforce Maps, and number two, exploring use cases for ArcGIS Online in Salesforce Maps. Companies make many critical business decisions using geographical analytics. For example, a financial company may need to select the best location for a new bank branch. A gas company must identify the local or the location of a potential gas leak and determine the number of people affected. Companies often use the following products to make data-driven decisions through geographical analytics. Number one, Environmental System Research Institute, ESRI, which provides geographic information system, GIS, that offer advanced mapping visualization, analysis, and manipulation. ArcGIS Online is ESRI's SaaS web-based mapping tool hosted in ESRI's managed cloud environment. It offers a cloud-based mapping system. And then we have number three, ArcGIS Web Map, which is an interactive display of geographic information. So imagine taking the geographical data found in these products and combining it within Salesforce data to uncover correlations and make smart data-driven decisions that impact your business. An ArcGIS online license is required to create data and web maps presented in the examples we're going to see. So the first example we're going to look at or the first use case is a retail where Lovely Course is a retail store. To better understand how the geographical visualizations of ArcGIS online data sets interact with Salesforce records, let's look at some examples. In the first scenario, imagine a financial organization is adding bank branches to specific areas of the southeastern United States. The financial organization has an ArcGIS online account, is looking for retail space between 2,000 to 10,000 square feet. The retail location must meet the following criteria. Number one, medium to high household income for the area. Number two, low bank branches presence in the area. So use Salesforce maps to geographically display bank branch records from Salesforce as well as data from ArcGIS online to view household demographics and available retail space. Analyze the data to determine the best location for new bank branches. Preparing ArcGIS online data. To start, prepare ArcGIS online data for use in Salesforce Maps. Step number one is log into your ArcGIS online account. Number two, select the My Content button to display a list of available web maps. Number three, select the web map of the hosted feature layer, for example, 2022 USA median household income. And number four, select the maps that will display both household demographics and available retail space with specification. Number five, copy the map URL from the browser and save it. This URL will be used when adding the web map to Salesforce maps. And then number six, in the Salesforce setup menu, add the feature service and add base map URL as a remote site. This is normally completed by a Salesforce admin. Displaying Salesforce records from Salesforce. In this use case, bank branches are accounts in Salesforce. So number one, navigate to the Salesforce maps user interface. Number two, Use the marker layer builder to create an account marker layer as outlined in the Salesforce maps layers. Number three, name the marker layer existing branch. Number four, configure the marker layer to display all bank branch records in Salesforce. And number five, configure bank branch markers to display as different colors based on bank performance. Green markers represent high performing branches and blue markers represent underperforming branches. Adding the ArcGIS layer. 
Now it's time to create the ArcGIS online layer. So step number one, enable ArcGIS for the relevant permission groups to ensure users have access to this layer. Number two, navigate to the Salesforce map user interface and select the folder to store the ArcGIS layer. Number three, select new and then ArcGIS layer. Number four, name this layer 2020 USA median household income and paste the ArcGIS layer URL that we previously have saved. Number five, save the layer. Once saved, this ArcGIS layer will provide information about the USA demographics and retail properties as specified. So now let's review this scenario in more detail and establish how the ArcGIS online layer will help plan the best location and additional bank branches. Making decisions based on geographical analytics. So the first step is to plot the existing branches market layer and the 2020 USA median household income ArcGIS online layer within the Salesforce map user interface. Household demographics displays as boundaries on the map. Notice that median to high household income displays as dark blue shades. Available retail space displays as stars and bank branches display as different color pins based on bank performance. With this information, stakeholders can determine the best location for additional branches that meet the specified criteria. Viewing the map, they appear or they seem available retail space in medium to high income areas with low bank presence and make a decision to purchase real estate. Using the Salesforce Maps interface, take other actions on the data displayed from ArcGIS Online, like calling available retail locations to schedule meetings or adding records to Salesforce using Click to Create, a feature that creates records directly from the map view. So in this use case, as we have seen, we've kind of covered Salesforce map displays of ArcGIS online data sets and overlays this information with Salesforce data so organizations can make decisions. Natural disasters in ArcGIS online. As we can see in this example, we have National Weather Service, NWS, National Watchers and Warnings ArcGIS online layer that displays data related to possible hurricane. Capture the NWS national watches and warnings data by logging into your ArcGIS online account and copying the web map URL from the browser. This URL is then used to create an ArcGIS online layer on your Salesforce map. Once displayed on the map, Companies can plot the NWS National Watches and Warnings ArcGIS online layer with Salesforce data to make critical business decisions concerning the following use cases, such as number one, track impacted employees, number two, monitor hotspots, number three, manage call centers. These are just a few examples for how companies can use the NWS National Watches and Warnings ArcGIS online layer with Salesforce data, but the possibilities are limitless. In this section, we're going to discuss how to connect ArcGIS online data to Salesforce Maps with Click to Create. And we're going to focus on a couple of areas. Number one, creating records in Salesforce using Click to Create. And then number two, interacting with ArcGIS online data. Earlier, we reviewed common use cases for using ArcGIS online with Salesforce Maps. So now, let's go a step further and demonstrate how to connect data from ArcGIS online to data in Salesforce using Click to Create. With Click to Create, users create records in Salesforce directly from the map view. Click to Create captures the location of a record and populates fields with exact information from ArcGIS online. So here's an example that demonstrates the power of Click to Create with ArcGIS Online. Remember that an ArcGIS Online license is required to create data and web maps presented in the examples that we're going to review in a moment. 
So now let's review a use case for adding pipelines. We have an oil and gas utility provider with, who's extending pipelines for a new residential development. They use Salesforce maps to geographically visualize existing pipelines and parcel data. Parcels of land in the path of the pipeline extension are added as account records in Salesforce using Click to Create. Once added, users then contact landowners and follow their organization's business process to acquire or request permission for right-of-way access. This example assumes an all accounts marker layer has been created in Salesforce Maps. Also, plot the all accounts marker layer to create travel routes when visiting landlords or landowners. All activity will be logged in Salesforce. So now let's look at the ArcGIS web map. Number one, first, we're gonna log it into ArcGIS online and select the My Content button. A list of web maps will appear. Number two, select the pipeline and parcel web map and save the selected URL. The URL will be used later when creating an ArcGIS layer in Salesforce Maps. Number three, in the Salesforce map menu, add the feature service and base map URL as a remote site. So now let's move forward to configure Click to Create so users can accurately add records to Salesforce directly from Salesforce Maps. Remember that admin permission are required to configure Click to Create. So step number one, create a field set for the account object in Salesforce. Step number two, name the field set ArcGIS, click to create. Now in the following step, step number three, define the fields in Salesforce that must be populated when creating an account record. Some fields like company name, phone number, and address will automatically be populated with data from ArcGIS online. Moving on to the next step, step number four, navigate to Salesforce map configuration menu. Number five, select, click to create. Number six, select the account object from the drop-down menu. Number seven, map the required fields. Complete field mapping for all three field mappings, which are A, POI, users can create a record using point of interest, POI, search bar in Salesforce maps. B, my position. Remember that users can create a record from their GPS position on a mobile device. Number C, map click. Users can create a record from plotted ArcGIS online data in Salesforce Maps. Next step, step number eight, select the ArcGIS C2C field set mapping for POI. Optionally, select my position and map clicks. Next step, step number nine, add the click to create button to a button set. Next step, number 10, grant access using permission groups as explained earlier. So now users are ready to plot pipeline and parcel data from the ArcGIS online Salesforce maps and add parcel records to Salesforce using click to create. ArcGIS layer. In the Salesforce maps, users with permission to create an ArcGIS layer take the following steps. Number one, select a folder to store the ArcGIS layer. Number two, select new and then ArcGIS layer. And then number three, name the layer pipeline and land management. Number four, enter the URL that we previously saved as the ArcGIS layer URL. Now moving on to the next step, step number five, select the click to create setup tab and complete the following. A, template name, C2C pipeline and land management. B, the web map layer, pipeline and land management. C, Salesforce object, account. The next step then is enter values for the following. A, record type. 
There we're going to select a record type associated with the pipeline extension business process such as master. B. Latitude. We're going to select the field Salesforce Maps will use to populate the latitude coordinate such as the billing latitude. C. Longitude. In this case we're going to select the field Salesforce Maps will use to populate the latitude the longitude coordinates such as billing longitude. And D, field set, we're going to select the field set previously created on click to create, ArcGIS, click to create. And then finally, step number seven, map Salesforce fields to ArcGIS online fields. The following step, which is step number eight, is to save the ArcGIS layer and plot it on the map. Parcels of land display as boundaries and gas lines display as lines on the map. Now, users can zoom into the path for the pipeline extension and click any parcel of land in the pipeline extension right of way. When clicked, information from ArcGIS online about the parcel, like the land owner and land description, will display. At this point, select the Actions tab and select Click to Create to create an account record for each parcel of land in the pipeline's right-of-way. Click anywhere in the parcel boundary to create a record based on the latitude and longitude location of that point. So let's imagine three parcels of lands are added as records in Salesforce. Salesforce operations follows the company's business process to negotiate access for right of way. When plotting accounts in Salesforce maps, these three land parcels will display. Sales operations can, can then take actions like calling landowners, entering call notes using the log a call button, and planning an in-person visit by creating an optimized route using the add to route button. With Salesforce map, users gain the data visibility they need to complete the pipeline extension. While this is a specific use case, its broad principles apply to any organization looking to integrate data from ArcGIS Online with Salesforce data. Now let's help users as they work through the business process outlined by the organization.